guys, it's Madison. Thanks for joining me in this faithful home. Today we have a fun craft project that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. We're gonna be making a DIY reading nook tent for down in the playroom. So if you are new to my channel, I have a four and a half month old baby girl and I know what you're thinking. Why are you building a reading nook tent for a four and a half month old? Good question. Well, the thing is, we have Bible study here every week. We have a six-year-old, a five-year-old, a three-year-old, an almost two-year-old, and three babies that are here every week. And we are working on our downstairs basement area, and part of it, well, most of it, like a big chunk of it, is the playroom space. We are getting that all set up, and so I'm living out my lifelong dream of getting to make my baby's playroom but I get to do it now while she's only four and a half months old. So we're gonna make a little reading nook. I'm very excited. Down the road, I'm gonna build some shelves for all the books. Let's jump right into the supplies you're gonna need. You need three dowels. I have this one in five eighths and then two and a half inch, two, quantity two, not two and a half inches. That would be huge. Two of the half inch size dowel. Then you need four slats. So this is a one by two. You can buy a fancy whiteboard one by two that comes already cut at four feet, or you could buy it in an eight foot cut in half, or you could go even cheaper and get what is called furring strips. This is a furring strip. It's basically just not as nice looking wood. Plain and simple, still durable, still gets the job done. I sanded down the board, so I already cut it because I wasn't gonna take the camera up and down and try to explain it all to you guys and hold an eight foot board in my bedroom. Regardless, you're gonna need four of them. Then I already did this and I will insert the clips here. You are, so you can see here there's pilot hole, right? No, you can't because it's not focusing. Okay, there's a pilot hole there and there's a pilot hole there. Basically what you're gonna need to do is you're going to need, you need to get these bits. These are, one's a five eighths and one is a half inch bit. There you go. And that's how you drill a five inch hole and a half eight inch, half inch, half an inch hole, yeah. On the half inch, you're going to come one inch from the bottom at center and drill the hole. And for the five eighths, you're gonna come down six inches from center and drill the hole. You're gonna do that on all four of your pieces, which by the time me talking this through, you'll have already seen me do that downstairs like 20 minutes ago. Then the other things we'll need for this project. So obviously this is going to make the like tent outline, like the base of it. And then for the actual tent itself, I went to Target because I had like rewards points from where my brother bought a bunch of stuff and used my circle app. Thank you, Dalton. Uh, but I picked up the perfect timing. It's the start of the new school year. So they had like all the college stuff out and like all the fun colors and it was all cheap. So this is Room Essentials sheet set. Uh, you can use fabric from Hobby Lobby or from Michaels or Joann's or wherever. I'm gonna use a basically just a flat sheet because it's cheaper that way. And I wanted something solid and I had money at Target. That's really the reason why I did this. But a twin set will work because the flat sheet is 66 by 101 and I, I'm gonna wait till I build it to like the exact measurements for you guys, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need somewhere in the ballpark of like 40 inches wide by roughly 90 inches. So I know that the flat sheet will work. And then to get it extra extra because read all about it, that's me. I wanted to have something cushy underneath it, right? Like you have this reading nook tent, you wanna sit on something cushy. So insert pillows. Again, room essentials. And this is the back to school or back to college, decorate your dorm, whatever. Just a standard pillow, nothing fancy, not like lavish, $4. And then even though this sheet set comes with one pillowcase, I wanted there to be a contrast. So same concept, Room Essentials picked up a gray and white striped sheet, no, gray and white striped pillowcase pack of two. I also have just from my stash, a thing of Velcro in gray, cause this is going to go on the pillows. I'm gonna, put Velcro at the edge so that the pillowcase can stay closed. That way the kids aren't like playing on the inside of the pillow. So as you're putting it together, you want to take two of the slats on one edge, okay? Put them on and then two on the other side. 
And you kind of want to look at your boards and see like which one's the prettiest, which side's the prettiest before you stack them, before you put them through. Just a thought. Alright, now that we have the basic structure of the tent made, we need to measure to see what we need to cut our material down to. So I have just my sewing tape measure. Alright, so it looks to be about 83 inches. We are going to buffer on the long side because obviously we want it to be like longer. It can be like we want it tight, but we don't want to make sure that it's not too small. What I want to do, like I was trying to explain, is now we have these ends, right? And on the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and make a casing. And that way we can slide it through the bottom, wrap it around, slide it through the other bottom, much like you would like a curtain. So we're making that casing for it. And we just know that it needs to be like an inch big of casing. You want to go bigger so it slides nicely. Um, so yeah, we got 83 inches to work with. Oh yeah, and we should measure from inside to inside. We're looking at, and this can vary because you can push the ends in or out a little bit as you need. So this shows to be 44 inches, which actually works out if you want to use fabric from the craft store because bolts of fabric come in around 44 inches wide. So then you would just need to get 80 something inches in length for fabric. All right, welcome to my dining room, AKA my current sewing station setup because we are not fully done with the basement. We are going to have a craft studio for me down the road, but for now, I sew on the dining table. So we already have the dimensions that we need. And what I'm going to be smart about is one of the edges is already a finished edge from the sheet, so I'm going to utilize that. But also this is a lot of fabric, so you have to be really careful when you're like measuring this much because you don't wanna mess it up. Alright guys, the tent is done. I am obsessed with it. I went ahead and stained the slats. I did that off camera just, you know, overnight because when you have a baby, you kind of have to make time for things. So love how this looks. Originally, I thought I was going to paint the slats white, but I'm really glad. I actually asked my husband what he wanted, if he wanted it white or stained, and he voted stained. So that's why we did that. I think this is super cute. You can see here the banner that i put this little rainbow banner is so cute i actually sewed that if you guys want to see a video of how i did that just leave a comment down below and i will make a tutorial for you it was super easy this playroom is coming together i love it so much so this piece was so fun to make the bookcase with a few toys already on the shelf and then behind me there's a few more things over there which actually that thing is going to get changed but nonetheless I am going to be putting a bookshelf or a book ledge right here in the next like coming days. It's actually in the other room and I'll probably work on it here in a little bit, but I'm very excited for that. So if you guys wanna see more updated photos of the playroom as it's coming together, make sure to follow me over on Instagram at This Faithful Home because I'm gonna be sharing a lot of the projects that don't get into the videos over there. And if you guys enjoyed this tent DIY project, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment 
comment down below if you have a playroom and what your favorite thing about your playroom is. And if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button so you feel welcomed into this faithful home with me. I talk about motherhood, I am a Christian homemaker, and I love sharing DIY projects much like this. So I'd love for you to join me and I will see you back next week for another video. Bye guys.